And welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, we're doing the drill problems for chapter 16, the odd number problems. And we are up to uh, drill problems 16-5. Okay, so this one here says, um, assume this is a partial list of financial highlights from a Best Buy annual report. Um, so we have 2013 and 2012 figures for Net sales, earnings before taxes, and net earnings. And these are dollars and millions. Okay. Complete a horizontal and vertical analysis from the above information round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. All right. So we have to do a horizontal and then a vertical. And obviously, I'm not going to do it on this slide. So um, look in your book, and I'm going to. Uh, do the same and I'm going to create the information I need while I'm looking at the information in the book okay instead of bouncing back and forth between the two different slides so um, what we're going to do first is horizontal and then when I'm finished um, you know Pause the video if you have to and copy it all down because I'm going to erase it and then do the vertical. All right. Now remember, horizontal goes, you know, is the information going across the columns. So we have, in, in brief, I have net sales here. I have earnings before taxes, and I have net earnings. Okay, and. <clears throat> Um, so this is 2013, this, to, this is 2012. Okay, so we're looking at whether this is an increase or a decrease in this column. And then, of course, we have the percent in this column. Okay, so um, what I'm doing here is I'm going to just copy this down so this is 37 580 um, this is 2231 and this is 1381 and this amount is 33,075 this is 1283 and this is 891 that's 2013, 2012. So we're looking for the in, increase or decrease in the amount. And then we're also looking at the percentage. So um, we determine the increase or decrease from the base year, the, the oldest year going forward. So we're going from 2012 to 2013. And we can see that uh, if we do the math of 37,580 less the 33,075, we end up with, uh, let's see here, 4,505. Okay, so the amount of the increase was 4,505. And we're going to then take the 22,30, oops, sorry, the uh, 22. 31 and subtract the 1283 and that's an increase of let's see here uh, 849 so that's 948 dollars and then last but not least 1381 less 891 yeah. oops no, that's not 1381. That's 1318. Okay. 1318. That's 724.427 are the amounts. Now that I have the amounts, what I need to do is I need to find the percentages. And all we're doing with the percentages is we're taking the amounts, okay, and we're dividing by the base year of uh, 2012. We're not doing the base year. We're not making 2013 the base year, okay? Because we're looking for a percentage here. So um, we have 
um, 45.05 and we're dividing that by 33.075 and in doing that math 33.075 we end up with um, 0 0.136 or 13.6 percent okay so that's 13.6 actually two because it said the problem it said uh, round to the nearest hundredth so uh, let's see here that's round to the nearest hundredth percent so that's zero point point one three six two zero and when we move it to a percentage it becomes thirteen point six two this is our hundredth percent so it's thirteen point six two okay all right next same thing just repetitive um, I have nine forty eight and I'm dividing it by twelve eighty three and that gives me nine forty eight divided by twelve 83 gives me 0 0.73889. Move the decimal over, so that's 73.8. Uh, I'm rounding up to the hundredth, so it's 89. And then, of course, the last one for the horizontal is 427 divided by the 891. So clear 427 divided by 891. And that gives me 0 0.47923. So I'm moving the decimal over 2. So I get 47.92, rounding down because the 3 were rounding less than 5, so we round down. So we end up with 47.92. Okay, so that's our horizontal analysis done. Okay, um, what you put on your paper should look very similar to this. Okay, and if you were to really get fancy, you'd have to put in the dollar sign here and the dollar sign here and the dollar sign here, and you'd be done. Okay, so pause the video, copy this down if you have to, and I will then do the vertical analysis. Okay, so I didn't pause the video, but hopefully you did. And if not, well, definitely do it now because I'm going to erase. Uh, I shouldn't have erased that. Net sales, earnings before taxes. Okay, so um, for a vertical analysis, we're going to erase all of this here. Okay, so um, when we're doing a vertical analysis, so vertical, um, we're basing that upon our, we're going to be basing our uh, analysis on the net sales because we're talking about net sales and earnings before tax, so it's a percentage of our net sales. So for uh, we're going to have two columns, 2013 and 2012. Well, obviously, if I have um, uh, for 2013, remember we're not going we're not going across the years. Okay, we're not doing that anymore. Anymore, that's for the horizontal. Okay, for the vertical, we're going straight up and down. So we're basing our figures. You know, our 2013 figures here are going to be based upon what's in the 2013 column, not the 2012. And for the 2012 here, we're going to be basing those figures off the, the figures in the column for 2012. We're not going to cross between uh, 2012 and 2013. So for our net sales, since we're using, since that's our base, well, obviously, um, you know, 37,580 divided by 37,580 is 100%. Okay, so... Um, in 2013, that's 100%. We do the same thing for 2012. That's going to be 100% because that's what we're using as our basis. Okay. Now it's just a matter of 
taking you know our earnings before tax this 2231 and we're dividing it by that 3758 uh, 580 580 okay so 2231 divided by 3758 gives me 0.059366 move the decimal over so it's 5.94 5.94 percent and then we're doing the same thing again. Notice I didn't erase the denominator, although I should do this here and make that a zero. Okay, but why? Because we're using that's our basis. So now I'm going to take the 1318 and I'm going to divide it by the 37580. So that's why I didn't change the denominator. So 1318 divided by 37580 gives me 0 0.035071 move the decimal over 3.5 we're going to round up so it's 3.51 percent okay so that's all you need for the year 2013 and of course 2014 I'm um, 2012 is going to be the same except now in the denominator we're going to be using 33075 okay so 1283 divided by that gives me 0 0.03879 move the decimal over 3.88 because we're rounding up here 3.88 and the last one that we have to do for the analysis is 891 okay so 891 divided by 3075 gives me 0 0.02693 move the decimal over 2.69 we're rounding down so 2.69 okay and that's all there is for the vertical analysis okay but hopefully um, you know in seeing both ways done you get a feel for you know the horizontal versus the vertical and the horizontal we were going we were making a comparison between the years right but in the vertical we were creating everything within the same uh, same year okay so hopefully um, that gave you a little bit of a, a better understanding in the difference between you know uh, the two different formats okay so next problem in the next video